Africa qualify in the 50 metres butterfly, but they'll consider the top six in this 100 freestyle for the relay. Yes, Libby Trickett, the hot favourite here, as you would expect. You mentioned Marika. Anyone else? Galvez or Foster a chance to win? Sally Foster's doing a great job with her sprinting. Megan Nay is the Australian champion in the 200 freestyle, so keep an eye on her. And Felicity Galvez, she'll be good underwater and off the start, but I think Lisbeth or Libby Trickett will be just so dominant here. Marinda Dingdan from Western Australia. Trains at the AIS under Shannon Rollison. Finished fifth in the 200 metres free. Lane two, we've talked about her already. She's already on the team, Megan Nay. Her dad went to the Olympic Games and Commonwealth Games as a swimmer. So another one that it's obviously in the blood. Sally Foster, you talked about her, up at the AIS, originally from Western Australia. It's working really well for her. She's doing a great job. She went to the Olympics in 2008 as a breaststroker, racing in the 100 free final. She'll race the breaststroke in about two events. And what more is there to say about Libby Trickett? Sounds nice, doesn't it? World record holder, world champion, Olympic medalist in the 100 free. Silver medalist. And this from Beijing. And here's Marika Gura. We've seen a lot of her so far. Did, what a did, challenge for her tonight to try and overcome Libby in the 100 free. Well, Libby might drag her out. Libby might make her swim so much faster. 54.46 she swam in the semi. That was her personal best. Felicity Galvez also went under the 55 seconds. She went her PB in the semi finals. Felicity Galvez, 24 year old local, and here's Shane Rees as well. Nice to see Shaney in the pool. She was undecided as to whether or not she'd get back in after the experience of Beijing, where she won two medals as a heat relay swimmer. And another Victorian, Kelly Stubbins, rounds out the field from the Halbury Waterlines Club in the BIS. Finished seventh in the 200. Well, you know, it would be really good if we saw a sub-53 swim. I reckon Libby will just be over the moon if she can get under the 53. Her world record time is 52.88, Libby Trickett. And a split of 25-4-0. It's the women's 100-metre freestyle final. Trickett in four. Let's see how she comes up. She's already just taken the lead. It's very tight across the pool. Stubbins in eight, Reese in seven, Galvez six, Gurat five, Trickett four, Foster three, Nay two, and Dinjam in one. She has changed her technique since joining the Grant Stollwinder Club. And let's see how it holds out for her. She's really holding the water nicely underwater, and the stroke looks great on top. Let's see how quick she is out. Faster than the world record split by one one hundredth. She's on a great pace alongside Agura's not that far away. Trickett seems to be in command. There's about 30 metres to go. Yeah, she looks like she's putting this together really well. The big six-beat kick, it is just going absolutely flat out. She's breathing every second stroke now, every fourth. There's the world record line. Can she do it? Five metres to go. Libby Trickett's going to go mighty close. Not quite, but don't be fooled by that smile. She is as competitive as it gets. That's 12 national titles for Libby Trickett, 52.99. She's under the 53. She'll be wrapped with that. Only 0.11 of a second behind her world record time. She's been under the 53 second barrier a couple of times now. One of them was disallowed when she raced against Michael Phelps. That's right. But she'll be pleased, not many. I don't think anybody else has been under the 53 second barrier. So to do it is just sensational. She was great. Gura pushed her a fair way. Finishes P second again, Galvez third. PB for Marika as well. Megan Nay in fourth, Sally Foster in fifth and Reese in sixth. They'll all be selected or considered for the team. Her technical skills were just all there. She's such a perfectionist. I think when she watches the replay and realises that she was fingertipping that world record line with 10 metres to go, she'll be thinking, oh, I wish I had just something small left there. Yeah, she was right on at the halfway stage. It was, as you said, just in that closing 10 or 15 metres. And that was her own pacing she was racing against, quite obviously. But it's a great stepping stone for her, for, for Rome. And the crowd showing their appreciation, 52.99. Marika also 
very much inside the qualifying time. And once again, Mark Howard's found the ever-smiling Libby Trigger. Ever smiling indeed. I think the smile's even bigger tonight. Under 53 seconds, Libby, congratulations. Wonderful swim. Thanks, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that time. Um, it's only 0.1 off my best and only the second time I've officially gone under 53. So, yeah, really pleased. You're training with a new squad. I was hearing you the other day say that you'd had enough looking at the boys and they were just touching you out and you'd had enough getting done. It must be great to actually get a win up on the board. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the boys... Uh, Definitely put me through my paces, and but you know that's going to make me a better swimmer in the long run. And as the change to the new squad, how are you improving? Nicole's talking up in the box there that you're doing a much more straighter arm style swim. Yeah, um, it's just part of the technique that Solly and I are working towards, and I think it's been really beneficial so far. You know, I've had three months out of the water after the Olympics, so to go that close to my best time now after only three months of preparation is. Very exciting. The Olympics were so good for you. You got that gold medal in the bag. You, you look like a new person. You're so relaxed. Those big shoulders of yours, they're not under pressure so much anymore. You just seem to really be enjoying it. I am. Um, I got pretty nervous tonight, to be honest. Um, I'm just starting to compete with myself. And um, I'm a very competitive person, so I think that's making it a lot worse. But, you know, it, it makes it exciting. and. It just keeps on driving me. It's exciting for all of us, Libby. Well done. Congratulations. Could I just quickly say happy birthday to my nephew, James? It's his first birthday. Would you like to sing it to him or not? <laughs> no. You've got one chance now. Come on, give, give James a go. Happy birthday, James. Good on you, Libby. Well done. Thank you. Libby Trickett. James, uh, quite silent in his reply there, but yeah. uh, I'm sure he won't be later on.